Greetings! For this demo, we will look into the application called Aomi Backupper. This app can help us create a backup of a working operating system like Windows 10. By doing so, we have a working copy in case our operating system fails. For this, we are using a virtual machine that is running on Windows 10. Log into the Windows 10 machine. Download the Aomi Backupper Standard Version. I selected the free version. Go through the steps of installing the application. I sort of created a file which we placed in the desktop to see if it gets restored. I opened the Aomi application. Selected system backup which gets saved on the local drive of the Windows 10 machine. Then I created a bootable media. For this one, I used a, a physical USB. If you want to give this a try, you can follow the selections I did in creating the bootable USB. I powered off the machine. In this step, we added the USB as another drive. Selected SCSI and select use a physical disk which would be the bootable USB. Then we added another drive which will simulate an external drive where we will copy the system backup from the local drive to this new drive. We powered on the virtual machine.
in order for the new drive to be seen, we formatted it. Once the new drive is visible, we copy the system backup on the local drive to the new drive which simulates an external drive. We verified that the system backup is in the new drive. Then we deleted the system backup in the local drive via the AOMI application. Then for this next step, we will try to make Windows 10 unbootable. We opened up a command prompt using administrative access. Then executed the command bcdedit.ext forward slash v. Then to corrupt the Windows 10, we executed the command as shown in the video. Then we restarted the machine to see the effect when those commands were executed. As you can see, the Windows 10 machine is no longer able to boot properly. We tried restarting again to see if it will work but to no avail. Next step is to simulate a scenario where the Windows machine will boot using the USB. To do this, we need to make changes in the VM firmware to ensure that we first boot using the bootable USB. Once the VM had used the USB to boot, we will select the option to restore the system backup.
select Restore. Then select the drive where the system backup is located. Select Open. Select the appropriate options. Then select Start Restore. Let it run through its course. Once it had finished, we powered off the VM. Remove the drive representing the bootable USB as well as the drive the system backup was copied into. This ensures we only have one drive remaining. Power on the machine and let us see what will happen. As you can see, the Windows 10 machine booted successfully with no issues. The AOMI application was able to provide us with a working system backup which we can restore if our machines encounters any issues. This is a tool which you can keep in mind if you want to back up your Windows system. If you do find the topic helpful, do not hesitate to show us your love. Smash the subscribe button, click on the bell icon, have a good one folks.